Hi everybody and welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. This post is from the subreddit Am I the A-hole and it's by user Separated and Confused. Am I the A-hole for going scorched earth over my inheritance rings? My female 27 mom passed away a year ago. It was known that it was a possibility, so my mom divided up her jewelry my dad had gotten her over the years to give to us if she passes. I had picked out two rings that I helped my dad pick out. They were not cheap, about 10,000 apiece when I got them appraised. When I left my husband 30 mail, I left pretty quickly and with basically nothing just to get out. He kept some of my stuff, but it was in our divorce agreement that certain things were to be given to me and held in a safe deposit box until I could get them. I took basically nothing monetarily from the marriage when I left and gave him basically everything. The divorce is now final and I finally came back to my home state to pick up the rings. I found out that he did not put the rings in the safety deposit box, just some of my other jewelry. I confronted him about it and I found out that not only did he not place them for safekeeping, he stored them in his new girlfriend's female 21 apartment, who says she had them in her jewelry box for safekeeping, but she can't find them. She knew what they were according to the texts I have and that they were not his or a gift. So I talked to my divorce lawyer. He's filing a lawsuit because 1. Inheritance is not marital property and 2. My ex did not follow his end of the divorce decree. I'm asking for $25,000, the cost of the rings plus emotional damages for the loss of the only thing I have left from my mom. I also filed a report to the police for the theft of the rings by his girlfriend. That probably won't go anywhere though, but they are investigating if she or he sold them. I think it's a high possibility given the value. I'm devastated by losing these. They were so special to me. He and his girlfriend are pissed at me because it's too much money that they don't have. She could get charged with theft or laundering the money from selling them for my ex. Not sure, this is mostly from my lawyer and it's just a couple of rings. His friends, my old friends who I don't speak with anymore, have been blowing up my phone and calling me a bitch saying that I hurt him so much already just to leave it alone and that I'm getting what I deserved. I wish I could get the rings back but I'm so upset at this and over this whole attitude about it that I basically want to go scorched earth on them. At this point, it's not only about the sentimental value but to give a big F you after everything. So am I the a-hole for suing my ex for my rings and potentially getting his girlfriend in legal trouble? Honestly OP in my opinion, no, I don't think you would be the a-hole for suing him for something that he is legally bound to do, which is give you your ring bags according to the divorce decree. He did not follow on what he signed, so yeah, you are absolutely entitled to sue him. They have a huge emotional value for you and a huge monetary value. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the attitude of the ex-friends and everything they told OP, that was kind of weird to me, so I did a little bit of digging and I saw that in OP's history there was a deleted post from Two Hot Takes. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to share any of that because they put a copyright notice on their subreddit, which is weird, but still. I can give you a general gist. The post has been deleted, so this is what I understood from it. The title is, I fail for my affair partner during my divorce. Now from that title, you could infer that OP was cheating on her husband and that's why they got divorced and that's why the friends hate her. But from what I understood from the comment section, apparently the husband was incredibly abusive to OP and while they were on a divorce, OP met somebody and had a relationship with them as a rebound and that's why it's an affair partner because they were not legally divorced. Also, apparently OP decided not to tell anyone about what was going on behind the scenes of her marriage and so all the friends got the wrong impression and that's why they hate her so much. So, what do you guys think about OP's situation about the rings? Let me know in the comment section and now let's move on to the community comments to see what they said. Yern Queen says, not the a-hole. He needs to give you a complete and honest account of what happened to your rings. If he'd rather see his new girlfriend in jail than face the truth, well, it sucks to be her and be thrown under the bus. 
And Dopey responds, that's my biggest thing. I want to know where they went. If he would just tell me, locate them and give them back, I might not have to do this. It's not even about the money. It's about taking away something so important to me. Most likely they're in some pawn shop. I'm not in town much longer, but my siblings said they would search every pawn shop to see if one of them have it. Sugar Mama says, he stole your mother's ring and gave them to another woman. Yeah, full scorched earth on him. Final police report that puts the ring on pawn shop lists of stolen property. If your ex sold them quickly, they're likely gone, but on the off chance he did it recently, then you might be able to get them back. Also, scour the girlfriend's socials if you can. See if you can find a picture of her wearing the rings. Then, you have her for possession of stolen property, since a judge had already ordered the rings to be put into a safe deposit box for you. Watch how fast she rolls on your eggs when she's being charged. Honey1973 says, Not the a-hole. Sue the ever-loving hell out of him and definitely bring legal charges for theft. 10,000 each? That is likely a felony. Hit them with everything. They knew what those rings were. They are horrible people. And Opie responds, it would be a felony. I'm hoping they get charged with that if they don't produce the rings. My dad absolutely adored my mom and gave her rings and jewelry every Christmas. He's pretty wealthy, but when he got married, he was quite poor. His original ring for her was a fake diamond from Walmart. The two I got were ones I helped my dad pick out for their 15th and 20th year anniversary, hence the cost. He upgraded her wedding ring every five years once he had money since he always said she deserved it for putting up with him when he was building his business and she was the reason for his success. He even had her buried in her 25th year anniversary ring which was $30,000. Additional information from OP's comments. As I said in a comment, it's a felony. It's just whether or not they can get proof of the actual theft. It seems like the cops are viewing it as a divorce issue more than a criminal issue. They are looking into it, but I don't think it's a priority for them. My best bet is probably going back to divorce court, according to my attorney. My ex-friends think I'm a cheater and ruined his life. My other post gets into it more, but basically, he was an abusive alcoholic who cheated a lot. I got with a guy after he said I could and everyone believes I got with my new guy and left, not recognizing his abuse or cheating on me throughout the marriage. So they think I deserve it. Honestly, I don't really care what they say. I just hate how my phone is blowing up. It's hard to continuously be called the bitch and everything else they say about me. I've been thinking about changing my number over all of this. Now, I admit I was in the wrong for some things, mainly my now boyfriend, but I wanted out of the marriage. By the end of our marriage, he was less abusive than at his peak, but still abusive. He quit drinking mostly, but was still an a-hole. I left quickly with my go bag of my clothes and my paperwork after a fight. My boyfriend helped me. I moved to a big city and said F it since I make good money and didn't want a long court battle during the divorce. My career is the type where I can move anywhere and find work in a day or two. I actually used my go bag before a few times when he'd get super drunk and violent. I'd stay at a friend's for the night. Then I'd come back and he'd say he didn't remember any of it and he was so sorry. I got with my ex when I was super young and I didn't know any different. That was my whole view of relationships for a long time. The night I left, something in me just snapped. I just finally felt like this is BS, I deserve better, F this. I had been doing better getting therapy and was in sort of a relationship with my now boyfriend who helped me learn that it was not normal behavior. I just didn't know any better. Okay, well the community agrees that OP is not the a-hole for suing the ex and pressing charges on the ex-girlfriend or at least filing a report. And in OP's comments, we did get the whole picture of the previous part of the relationship. So now with all that information, let's move on to the update to see what happened next. But before that, if you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to leave a like or a comment regarding the story because that always helps. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you like my content and haven't joined us yet. Now, let's move on to the update. I posted about a week ago about my ex-husband stealing my rings. I was getting nowhere with him. The cops seemed pretty uninterested and my lawyer said that while we had a case, it could take ages. 
my family went through a lot of pawn shops but couldn't find anything. I was feeling pretty horrible about everything going on and figured they were a lost cause until a friend from my past messaged me on Instagram earlier this week. She never sent me anything bad like other people, we just didn't talk. She linked a profile of my ex's new girlfriend's brother and said, I'm not sure his fiance's ring looks like it might be yours. This friend also lost her mother when she was younger and she said she didn't care what happened between me and my ex, but she wasn't letting some guy take that away from me. We talked for a bit and she said she was upset when she heard about the rings being missing and my ex had gloated, saying I wasn't ever getting them back and she wanted to help me find them if she could. I went over to the page and sure as crap my favorite ring, a diamond with weaving silver and rose gold diamond paved band was prominent in his engagement photos. I then went all CIA on them, looked at every family member this girl has and found another sister with my other ring, saying it was her purity ring gifted to her by her sister for her 16th birthday. I was floored and very pissed, so I called into work for the rest of the week and drove my ass back to my hometown, picked up my brother and went to my ex's apartment. My ex answered the door and I lied, telling him that the cops were going to arrest his girlfriend's brother and sister for theft. And he could give me those rings back in two days or else. One day went by and there were no rings, so I messaged the brother's new fiance on Instagram. I showed her pictures of the ring on my hand and on my mom's hand and said it was stolen and that I wanted it back. This poor girl was appalled, I honestly think she had no idea. We ended up calling each other, she apologized and said she would talk to her fiance. I told her I was getting that ring back. We ended up meeting, I showed her more proof it was mine, told her the whole story and thank god she gave it back to me. She didn't like her fiance's sister, thought she was bad news and stayed away from her. She said she would talk to her fiance about why in the hell he thought getting a ring from her would be a good idea. I guess word got out and my ex started calling me incessantly, basically leaving messages saying he'd do anything but don't make his girlfriend's sister give back her purity ring. It was embarrassing etc. I picked my brother back up and went back to his apartment. This time both he and his girlfriend were there. The yelling match started, my brother had to keep me from basically clawing the eyes out of that bitch. I ended up literally sitting in their entryway saying I wasn't leaving until I got that ring or they could call the cops to remove me and I'd tell them about the rings. I don't know exactly what happened after that but she left and came back with the ring after about an hour. The whole time my ex was saying my mom was basically his mom too and he should have something from her and it was only right. My brother was basically staying in between me and him telling him to back off. When I got the second ring back I stood up and just finally lost my crap, years of being with him and I don't think I'd ever gotten that mad before. I screamed at him, told him off and spit on him when I left. I don't think it was the most mature response but it felt effing good. I'm also surprised that he didn't get a noise complaint or called the cops on us but the apartment isn't necessarily known for being nice. As for why the f that woman thought it'd be a good idea to give the rings to her family, I don't know. I'm hoping that my old friend might give me some gossip or that I might hear from the fiance but honestly. I am just happy that my rings are back and the drama is settled. I don't have to deal with them anymore, nothing else is needed from our divorce decree. My boyfriend promised me a massage and cuddles from the cat when I get back into town. Honestly, I'm just hoping to never hear from them again. Still, I think they deserve each other, they both knew exactly what they were doing but the not heartless side of me hopes she sees him for what he is and leaves and that he gets sober and gets better. Well OP, I gotta say that was a great update, fantastic, happy and everything. I don't care about them being embarrassed with the family cause as you say they knew exactly what they were doing. They are both trashy people so they deserve everything that's coming to them. So the way you reacted after everything that you went through in life with this guy, sure you may call it not mature 
but that doesn't mean it wasn't deserved. And I honestly don't understand how your brother held himself from not beating the crap out of that guy. But regardless, you've got your rings back, which is the important thing, and you're gonna get some cat cuddles when you get back home. So on that note, here's wishing you the best in the future, OP. Thank you so much for sharing and take care. And now, let's finish this video with a mood booster post. This post is from the subreddit Pro Revenge, and it's by user Pret Tech. Stick me with hidden charges, I'll show you. So this past Christmas, my missus and I purchased one of our 9 year old son's Santa gift from a certain UK sports retail company that also has many stores here in Ireland. It was a football rebounder, kind of like a trampoline that you kick the ball at and it bounces back to you. Anyway, we purchased it from their Irish website and thought nothing more of it. A few days go by and we get a notification from a certain brown uniformed courier company that there are customs charges due on something. As you can imagine, we've bought many things for the kids, so we had to double check what we'd ordered and we didn't have anything left that was being imported. Hence, we naturally assumed it was a scam, so I asked my wife to call the company and find out who shipped it. It was a different courier company based in the UK. After a bit of digging and investigating, it turns out it's our rebounder. They had shipped it from the UK via a local courier to the brown uniformed guys to deliver to us. Now, my wife and I are both on disability, so an additional charge of almost 50 euros when you're both already on a fixed income is harsh, especially at Christmas. So I told her to pay it and I'd deal with the retailer. The first day I called, I had to call three times being stuck on hold for at least 20 minutes each time. But I was patient and polite because I've worked in a call center before, so I knew those people were only doing their job. I asked to speak to a manager and was promised a call back each time. That never happened. The second day was quite similar. On the third day, I was starting to get annoyed, so I called back, waited even longer on hold, and finally wasn't taking this crap any longer. I told the rep that all I wanted was the 50 euros back because our consumer rights in Ireland dictate that a person must be informed of any additional charges on a purchase, at the very least by the final checkout screen, and in this case there was nothing to show that, and I could easily replicate that issue by putting the same item in my basket and going all the way to the checkout screen again, and nothing was saying we'd have to pay import charges. The rep was indifferent to the situation but tried to help. And what he said sent me over the edge. He offered me a measly 20 euro gift voucher to use on their website, but more importantly, he read a statement to me. He said, We advise our customers that there may be DDU charges, delivery duty unpaid, it is custom charges on any item that gets shipped outside of the UK. Then I asked him where it states this information and he paused then said he didn't actually know. I said, well, I know one thing, it doesn't say it anywhere on this transaction because I've checked and because this is a violation of my consumer rights, I'm going to give your company one last chance to make this right. I told him to have his manager call me within the next 60 minutes or I was going to post this entire debacle on LinkedIn and link every senior officer of their company. Then I hung up the phone and waited. Yet again, no call. The next day, I went on LinkedIn and followed through on my promise. I created a post detailing what they had done by sticking us with hidden charges and that they were ignoring our requests for a manager and everything they said and did. Then I tagged every senior officer at the company, from the regional managers through the European directors all the way to the CEO, and I shamed them for how they operated their company. This, ladies and gentlemen, was now an act of war. Shortly after I posted, I noticed that they took down the item from their website in an attempt to hide this, but they must have thought I'm a simpleton that doesn't understand how the internet works. They didn't realize that when you searched for rebounder on their site, it shows the item in question, so I took a screenshot of that, then another of the item page that was now missing. But then I did a Google cached search for the same page and found a version from two days prior happily showing the item. Then I added a comment to my original post highlighting how they were trying to hide it with the evidence and trolling them for their heinous behavior, especially at Christmas. 
Then I tagged and shamed all the senior officers again and at this point it was really starting to get some attention. Not only publicly but three people in incognito mode viewed my profile. I wonder who they could have been. So naturally I took a screenshot of the three mysterious visitors listed on my profile and did the same thing. Commented on my post highlighting it and trolling them for their incompetence. The next morning, I got a call from a senior executive at their head office in the UK practically licking my boots with apologies, asking what she could do to make this right. I told her I originally only wanted my 50 euros back as it wasn't fair nor even legal that I had to pay it, but since I had to go to such lengths to get their attention, now I wanted my 50 euros back, a full refund on my entire purchase and I wanted to keep the product. That was the only thing that would make this go away. She asked for a couple of hours to fix it and I said okay. About an hour later, I got another call from her again apologizing. She asked for my PayPal address, where she sent the 50 euros, then she refunded the whole purchase and she let us keep the product. Obviously, I thanked her for her help because at that stage, I was just happy it was over, but I'll be effed if I'll let anyone walk all over my family even if they are a 50 million pound annual company. The most of the story here is, don't take BS from anyone. I may just be one man, but my son's view of Santa is far more valuable to me than the opinion of some retail chain that doesn't care about its customers or how it operates ethically. Wow, OP, I gotta say, going the LinkedIn route, that was masterful. Good for you for standing up for you and your family. Take care, OP, and thank you for sharing. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. Now, if you've gotten to this point in the video, I assume that you like these stories that I'm reading out. So here are a couple more that you might enjoy. And if you don't have any time to watch another story right now, save it for later. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.